Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm updating my Jungkook photo card collection. This will definitely be the shortest update that I will probably ever do for this binder uh, because I only have this amount of stuff to put in, but I did definitely want to do this before we enter into the new era, the golden era that begins tomorrow. I hope that you guys are just so, so keen for JK's new album, Golden. I am flipping to the back of this binder to begin with. I'm so, I feel like I'm on cloud nine. This is what I ended up working out to set up for the album coming out tomorrow. The music video teaser just dropped and it was just, it was everything. I don't know how I, we, us, everybody is going to be okay. Um, it'll drop at two o'clock Australian time tomorrow for me. So in the afternoon, uh, I have actually swapped my shift at work. So I will be in front of the TV, ready to go when it happens. In terms of this setup, the only thing that maybe will change is if they do announce more than three lucky draws for each of these stores, which like they did for Tay, so that might impact that. Uh, but other than that, this is what I ended up setting up. I filmed that video of me looking at the album details and everything. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with the setup. They have announced more PCs and pre-order benefits and things like that since I set this up, which is like, it, that's fine. Like every, things are gonna happen as time goes on, but that is all ready to go. I definitely need to update this binder. So I'll do this one next. I might change out my Halloween nails and then do this one uh, before the, the golden era begins. But that is where that one is sitting. And yeah, I'm very excited to start filling that out. But let's go into the normal JK binders so then I can put just in PCs that don't have anything to do with gold. And I'm so keen to see what the PCs look like. I'm just, I am so excited. Let's start off with this one and zoom out a little bit. Now, in terms of this binder, I don't actually think that I have anything to update. The only thing that I'm currently thinking about is whether or not I'll keep the seven broadcasts here. But judging by what I have set up in the other binder, they should actually be now placed in the like the solo projects binder of all the members unless I move Golden into this binder, which I have been thinking about doing. But I would definitely have to move something out from the back, which may be... I don't know. Oh, but I do have a broadcast section. But if the broadcast is like smaller, I put it in this section. Oh, I put it in this section. So, and I have ordered replicas for them just because there was such a limited amount of cards. I do plan on purchasing one. I kind of want to invest my finances maybe into the actual golden broadcast. So I'll have to see whether or not that is possible for me to pursue. But that is all that I basically want to say for this binder. I'll have to work out, yeah, as I said, whether or not I'll end up putting Golden in here to keep all the JK collection together, but it is still in that other binder currently. We are going to completely skip over the Tor and Muster binder because there is absolutely nothing to go in there. He is not touring, he is not mustering. But we will go into this one, which is going to go... I really need to get, like, cards off of my friend. Um, I have some cards in here to go in, which is, first of all, this one, which is another version of the Beyond the Story PC. Uh, if you can see the two different versions here. The Australian one is also different. Look, they even have different lines on the back. So, yes... I might try to track down the Australian one, but it is a, quite a low quality card. I don't know whether or not I can be even bothered trying to find one of those. What is on your eye? There we go. The Hybe Daydream Believer sticker I do not have on the way, um, but I do have a fact PC. I don't think I've unboxed this on my channel yet, but I do want to get everything up to date before all the craziness begins. So. One fact book PC, I do intend to eventually get all of them, but I'm really just holding off on them because, I don't know, I feel like they're overpriced and I'm not a massive fan of them. Yeah, I don't know, there's just one. I do have this one as well, which is the other version of this. Uh, I was gonna put it up here. So this is the Japanese version of the Defesta ticket. And he is facing more to the side. 
I will put that one up there. So we basically have exhibition tickets all in this top part. There was a Festa lounge PC. Again, it was so overpriced, so I ordered a replica, but I don't really like this replica. Yeah, it's not great quality and the back's got nothing on it. So I'll place it in here for now, although it's a nine pocket size card. So I'll just place it on the back of something for now because I don't really like the actual card. I'm going to remake it or potentially purchase it if it comes down in price. So he can just hang out back there. And there is also things that they have announced, which is really random, but they're having like some bee lenties and some love yourself answer lenties. And so they're postcards, but then they also have PCs. And I was thinking about putting that in like the miscellaneous kind of merch bit, but now I'm thinking I might put that in the first binder with all of the album items. Yeah, I think that'll make more sense. It's just such a random thing for them to release. <gasps> Vesta! I do have some new film strips to go in and this, which is the Vesta as well. Still have to work out how I want to display these because this pocket page doesn't lend itself to these items, but there are now six. Yes. The next one has a pink theme and then the one after that is a brown theme and they already released newest ones. So I'll just put them in like this for now. And then we will investigate how we can rearrange them into a pocket. I do know that some people have those fusing tools and they put lines and make their own kind of pocket pages. That would be kind of cool to play around with because it would definitely be good to have three across, but then you can't fit two down. I don't know. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll have to work out what I can do with these. If anyone has any suggestions, I am completely open to them. I could maybe put them on sideways as well and then maybe two, like one down that way. Eh, I don't know. I'm just going to put them like this for now, but obviously this will change because it's not a very good way to display them <laughs> and they're just going to move around uh the defester bookmark oh my gosh the sun completely disappeared and that will go in here like that this bookmark was definitely bigger than i expected it to be i thought it would be proof size bookmark so i might have to rearrange this as well because i don't want it to dint this photo but that will go in there like that. Very nice, very nice. And I think before we go into the collab binder, we'll jump back into the first binder so that we can put in that love yourself answer lenty randomness. <laughs> this is items to do with albums that uh merch related this was butter merch they did have like those pcs from the butter cardigan and the bee pajamas which i feel like could definitely go next to like the bee lenty pc and the love yourself answer pc yeah depending on the sizing of these lenty postcards so whether or not they'll go in a two pocket or a four pocket will be interesting to see for now i'm just going to put them on the back of here because i need to look up the dimensions it might actually be this big I'm kind of hoping it won't be though. I would like just maybe a four pocket size postcard. And then I think I ended up putting the B pajamas and the buttered cardigan in my OT7 collection. So I'll move them back into here to put them with the PCs that are with this. Just really random merch that they came out with. I was like, what? Are you, are you trying to keep your lights on? Like, why do you need our money drop right now? And finally, very short and sweet, we're in the final binder. This is promotional and collab. <sighs> and this has been such a long time coming. It took me quite a while to complete this set, but I have done it. Calvin Klein is officially complete. I don't think that I have shown any of these on my channel, but I, I as I said multiple times, I wanna update this before the drop tomorrow. And, the, and we have a new thing to focus on with JK's newest era. So yeah, a little Calvin Klein envelope to put at the top. And I do need some eight pocket sized sleeves. Is everyone just as keen for the album drop as what I am? The, the songs just sound so amazing and awesome and he looks amazing. And 
gorgeous and like I have told my work like if I win that uh, I definitely won't win but you never know the the concert that they're doing in Korea like where 2,300 people or something can go I told my work that if I win I'm going <laughs> I'm gonna fly out to Korea and then see the concert and then fly back the day after three-day turnaround trip I was like even if you fire me I, I I would go, so <laughs> there is no way that's gonna happen. But please, like manifesting it. The two that are different in color are this one and this one actually, because these were like the individual ones that you get that weren't in the set, but I kind of like having the black with the black. So should I, or unless I do a line of the white cards, line of the black, but I need something else down here. I'll have to maybe print out a, a PC maybe with a black theme black background theme in order to balance out the page but I definitely wanted these to go into an eight pocket so they were all facing the right way and they are at the front of the binder because it's just it's just <laughs> yeah I kind of need another Calvin Klein envelope almost maybe I could just photograph the envelope photograph Maybe I could just photocopy the envelope. Okay, Calvin Klein is in, looking stunning. I kind of wasn't planning on doing it because they were so overpriced to begin with, but they definitely dropped down in price. Can you see how these two have a more of like a golden kind of golden, oh my gosh, golden kind of hue to them? Yeah, so they're a little bit out of alignment. I'll fix it up off camera. But yes, that is going to be the start of the binder now. Calvin Klein, just iconic, just yeah, 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 yeah. We all agree, yes. The only things that I kind of have left to update are packagings the cheapest items to collect for JK so I thought that I may be able to put them in order of era so it'll go that one that one and then dynamite butter and this one's just like a Christmas one that was more to do with just tiny tan-esque-ness so yeah I, I don't know and not they have any more packagings for these but it'd be good if they do to fill out this page I don't normally collect tiny tan stuff, so I don't really know why I did this. I'm not going for like all the other tiny tan stuff that they have done for like Festa or that like they're in the Somme, Somme? Yeah, Somme kind of stuff, yeah. That'll do for that. And I would like to still track down some more packaging for the hot brew, cold brew stuff. There's definitely a lot more like older packagings that I can get, but yeah, uh, not focusing on that at the moment. I feel like there's, there's so much coming up that will be the main focus that I should focus on. <laughs> this is the new packaging that they have for Xylitol. They do actually have an, another new, new packaging already, which is a green one. And I thought that it was two green ones, but it's actually just the same green packaging, except it has a different picture on both parts. So I'm just only missing one item of packaging at the moment I believe for xylitol this gum absolutely hated it it was the worst tasting gum that they've had out of all of them the, probably like just me though because I really don't like orange flavored stuff I really didn't like that gum but I would have to put in another page soon because with the new packaging that's coming out it will need a new place to go so for now I'll put these up here I feel like I'm really rambling with this video, but I'm just a buzz with excitement for tomorrow. I think I'll film like a reaction video. I've never filmed a reaction video, so I don't know whether or not you guys would be interested in me doing that. Like a first view reaction. I kind of want to do it. Uh, uh, I'll see. I'll see how I go. Yeah. So that is the new packaging in for Xylitol. And the last thing that I have to go in is just a filler and it's for the crunky chocolate. This is like crunchy chocolate and they have packaging for each of the members. And I actually already have this on the way because it was actually quite reasonably priced on Makari. So yeah, and I may have wanted to get some extra ones for Christmas presents. <laughs> 
so I bought, like I bought so much chocolate off of there. This is all my food packaging. Just put it in here for now. I'll have to make a new page for when that comes and maybe move these out. There is more of these, so I could maybe try and track down those, but I'm not too fast about that. Uh, that is it for this binder update. So short and sweet. I'm just going to flip to the back of this so you have something more to look at while I do the little outro. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Please uh, give it a like and subscribe if you did. As you can see, the golden era is going to be a very exciting time in this channel and I hope you will join me in going down this avenue and experiencing everything. JK is my alt bias. I'm so very, very proud of him and excited for everything that is to come. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Exciting. <laughs> See you guys tomorrow, bye.